I've got all these carrots that I've harvested. Here is some that I've rinsed. There's some here, plus I have a whole other bowl right here. And I'm not scrubbing the dirt off. I'm just giving them a light rinse. I'm gonna lay them out here to dry for a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. Make sure that all the stems are removed. So little ones like this where there's still a stem, I'm gonna take that off. Once they're damp and not soaking wet, then I'm going to start storing them in some plastic bags. And that will keep them fresh in the fridge for three to six months. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Near the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing a few more tips on how you can keep your carrots really fresh in the fridge. And everything I tell you here in this video is really, really easy. So don't worry about that. A lot of carrots. I'm so excited. So one thing you'd want to be checking with your carrots when you're getting them ready to store is you don't want to store any that have any sort of a blemish to them. If there's um, a split or if it's shaped funny, if anything like that, eat it right away. Don't store it. You only want to store the ones that are the best. So this one, for example, you can see how it's got right here. There's like a little split. This one won't make the cut for long-term storage. This year, we grew a few different varieties of carrots, and one of them is a rainbow variety, and I absolutely love all the colors. Look at them. Isn't that pretty? It's just so exciting. Okay, so here we go. This is our carrot haul for our first year here at our new homestead. I've let the carrots air dry here for about half an hour or so, and they're feeling perfect. They're just slightly damp, but they're not soaking wet. So now I'm gonna start the sorting process. I'm gonna go through, and if there's any that still have a bit of a stem on it, like this one does here, I'm not sure if you can see that, has a little bit of a green tip on it. I'm going to just snip that off right at the base. You don't wanna actually cut into the orange part of the carrot, and then I'm just gonna set it over here. So I'm also, while I'm doing this, if there's any that have splits in them, like I said before, I'm gonna set them aside because I'm not going to use those ones for long-term storage. So one thing I will mention when you're going through your carrots, you do not need to take this little root part down at the bottom. That does not have to come off. I'm gonna show you a little closer. So the green stem has to come off. The little root part here, that does not have to come off. So that you can keep on. My kids call this the butt. You can keep the butt on. Sometimes you grow a carrot that looks like this. <laughs> you can eat this and we will eat it. I'll cut it up and cook it, but this is not a good candidate for long-term storage. You only want to store the ones that are shaped well, don't have any splits or any abnormalities like this little guy. This is like, like what is this? want to cut the stems off the carrots. Why should we do that? The reason is because those green stems, if they are left on the carrot, they will actually suck moisture out of the carrot over time. And in order for your carrots to stay crisp, they need to have a, the right moisture level. So that's why you buy them off. I finished sorting all of the carrots. I'm gonna show you what I got. These are the two bowls that are gonna go into long-term storage. There's quite a few here, I'm so excited. And this is the section here that we're gonna use up right away. It seems like a lot, but there was a lot of like really, really tiny ones that I just didn't wanna store long-term. The ones that are really small, we'll probably just give to the chickens or the bunnies. Um, but the ones that are still a decent size, they just had little little um, flaws, splits and things like that. So I will use those within the next couple of weeks. These are the bags that I'm gonna use to store the carrots in. Again, these are just bread bags. You can get these at the store pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to fill these up and then seal them up with a twist tie if I need extra, because I only have two of these. So if I need more, then I'll use the Ziplocs. 
So I'm just gonna start putting them in. This is the satisfying part because this is kind of it, you know? Like I, you plant your seeds, you grow your garden, you tend to it, you weed, you harvest, you prep. This is like, this is exciting. It's all for something, you know? It's not a waste of time. To let you all know, I am just getting started here on YouTube. I'm going to be putting out a lot of homesteading, homeschool related content. So please click subscribe so you don't miss out. So the other thing I will tell you is that mo you should monitor the moisture level of your carrots over the next few months. Right now they're perfect, but I can't just assume it's gonna stay that way. If I start seeing my carrots getting a little bit dry, I can put a damp piece of paper towel in this bag with the carrots and it'll keep moisture in that bag and it'll keep those carrots fresh. Now your carrots are ready to go in the fridge for a few months, three to six months. That's it. I hope that this was helpful. Please like this video, click subscribe. There's a lot more content to come. Thanks, bye.